Welcome to the Griddle Guys. You got Nate, you got Chris. Thank you for joining us. Jeff is on vacation again. That's all he ever does. Camping. Too. Camping, <laughs> vacationing. Anyway, Nate and I are gonna do a quick, simple sandwich for you tonight. It's a wrap, actually. Mediterranean chicken wrap, which I don't know about you, Nate. In our area, I can't get a good one no matter where I want. Yeah, I know. It's, it's just it's unfortunate. True. Maybe we're going to the wrong places, I'm not sure, but best place to make it is at home. We're gonna do that tonight. Stick around. To start off, we're just gonna do basically a salad. We're gonna do some chopping up. We got some romaine, we got a red pepper, some plum tomatoes, an English cucumber. I haven't decided yet. I might throw a little bit of, of minced garlic in there. I don't know, we'll see. We got some olives. I don't know if I can pronounce it. Calamata. Calamata. <laughs> Calamata olives. Some roasted red peppers. We're gonna do some red hot. It's me and Nate, so we're the only ones eating this. It's gonna go on the chicken. To spice it up a little bit. As far as the dressing, olive oil, uh, red wine vinegar, wine vinegar, bunch of oregano. I'm a big fan of this, so I love my oregano. Salt and pepper to taste. Chicken, gonna butterfly, throw them right on the griddle. Basically, just cook it straight through. Feta salad too. Feta, absolutely. And we're gonna warm up the naan and the, the wrap. All right. So for anyone yeah. who's gonna get in the comments and yell at us for not using authentic Arabic pita bread. Right. We couldn't get it. Now yeah. it's the next best thing. And you know what? If you want to add hummus, if you want to add, uh, you know, avocado, whatever, you, this is what you guys, what we, what I like. Uh, but you guys can, of course, improvise. Cater to your whim. Cater to what you like, exactly. That's just cooking, folks, yeah. right? You know what, Nate? I just noticed, that looking at the cutting board, look at the date on that. June 29th. Oh, no kidding. That's basically over five years, the last yeah. week. Five yeah. years, the Griddle Guys. Thanks for making me feel cheers, old. Cheers to us. <laughs> cheers, <laughs> cheers, cheers to feeling even older. Yeah. Five years of this. All right, time for the dressing. Nate just kicked butt and chopping this all up, and now we're gonna show you the dressing. Oh, look at that. We've got a lot of garlic that wants to come in. <laughs> That's what a lot of raw garlic, kid. We're just gonna do a little bit of that. <laughs> it wants, oh. No one's look gonna to wanna that. talk to Chris or I after eating this <laughs> no, sandwich. All right. A little olive oil all around. I don't know, maybe three tablespoons. That's what we miss Jeff for his guesstimations. A little red wine vinegar. We should tell you, we forgot at the beginning with the red oh. onion. Huge, huge. Forgot to mention this guy. Unfortunately, we forgot, but we did put it in here. Oregano, healthy dose. I love oregano. Mm. So do I, fresh and dry. Salt, bring everything out. Pepper. No, no. Okay. <laughs> See how much of this goes in. Just a little bit. Because I'm going to put it on the chicken too. Just a little bit. Look at they both open. See that? So we got a little extra on the backside. <laughs> That's all right. Then mix it up. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to cut up the chicken. We're going to butterfly it. We're going to go start up the griddle. We're going to let this sit in the, fridge, in the fridge for, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. I could eat this. This could be a meal right here, Nate. <laughs> oh, yeah. No right doubt. here. You should smell it. Ooh. Smell a little garlicky. Ooh. A little red wine vinegar smells good too, always. So there we go. Taste. Mm. Yummy. All right, so just gonna trim this, these breasts up a little bit. Do my best, uh, Jeff, to try to get most of this fat off. We do wanna keep this kind of healthy. It's mostly good stuff in there. And then I'm gonna butterfly it. Okay. You won't hear Nate right now because as usual, we're running into a few audio problems. <laughs> it's never a dull moment with the griddle, guys. Just gonna hit these up with some seasoning. A little salt and pepper. Pepper. Just a little bit of oregano. Red pepper flakes. One side, get the other side. And hit it up with this side. Pepper, salt, oregano, and red pepper flakes. So we're gonna get the, get the griddle going right now. So it should be all good to go. We're gonna head out there, get these babies cooked, and put our sandwiches together. Here we go. Let's 
get this chicken, it's gonna take just a few minutes. A couple minutes aside. A little olive oil. And they're flattened. There we go. Got the heat on medium low. And I think we're good right there. Get this going. All right, so now it's just time to flip these. It's been about three and a half minutes. These are looking good. Get the heat at medium. Look how good those look. If you're still with us, thank you. We just had some major audio issues that uh, hopefully we are all set. The chicken is actually done, which is great. It's not overcooked. We're going to be all right here. Probably put it on a couple extra couple minutes, but not too bad. I think we're all right. And what I'm going to do is if I had my tools, I'm going to clean this up and just warm up the bread, go inside, make a sandwich, and check it out. All right, guys, just um, we're at the point of just warming up the wraps a little bit, cook them on each side a little bit. A little olive oil down, spread it out a little thin. One naan and one wrap, flour-based wrap. So tell you what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this, about a minute each side, flip it over, bring it in, and then we're gonna build. So we'll see you inside. Finally, we are ready to assemble. This has been a, so, not so much an easy one, Nate, as a stressful one as it was. It's been a hot one. <laughs> We've had camera issues. Chris's air conditioning is busted, so oh. it's hot in the house. Yeah, perfect timing for all of that, you know? I'm impressed you got out there above the griddle because I'm telling you, in the, in the blazing heat, you know? That is hot by that griddle right now, but I can't complain. I mean, you see that everybody down south out there, it's yeah, it's a hundred yeah. and something, and... We cannot complain. We can't complain. Get the griddle master there in Florida, and he was out there every day. Yeah. You know, and that's Florida heat. Right. For any of you guys that don't know or you haven't seen uh, our previous videos, I'm a big fan of using foil to wrap because I always overstuff these things. And uh, the foil just helps close it up. All right, so we get the chicken, got the salad topping. This is all money right there. Look at that. You uh, you want to dump some feta on there, Chris? Yeah. If you don't mind. Yeah, it's not looking like we're gonna close this very successfully. <laughs> all right, here's I like a challenge. So I'm not gonna close. This. I'm gonna let him do both. That guy in there. I'm the closer for sales. He's the closer for sandwiches. <laughs> back. Well, the whole thing. Look at you. And then yeah. you're going to cut it? So you can cut it, or the other way is you just break a little tear in it, and you oh, yeah. unwrap it like so. There we go. This one might be a little tougher. We could have gone a little bigger on that, no? We could have. We could have. This one's, well, you, I'll tell you what. You take this one, because you want to stuff this one more? Because I'm going to do the same thing. No, I think that's plenty, no? You think there should be more in there? That's right. And you can still wrap it? All right, well, we'll try. Let's see. We'll do more salad. More salad, yeah. not more chicken? All right. Yeah, actually, you can do more chicken. Make this a big boy. Close that so these guys can see. This is like when you get the gyros at the fairs, right? That's pretty fat. Yeah. That's pretty fat. That's a good one right there. So I same thing here. To, we should cut that one in half. See the inside. Watch okay. the inside Can out. I tear it too, though? Yeah. There we go. See? Looks pretty good. Well, right? Don't have to. See, that looks pretty good. Oh, huh. well, yours. Bon appetit. You. Well, hell, you cooked it. Might as well eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You do a taste test? Yeah. No, mm. oh, it's good. Mm. I'm definitely getting a taste of that fresh garlic. A little bit. Yeah. That's good. I'm getting the fat. I got a nice piece of fat in there. Chicken. A little tinge of heat, which is good, which I like. It's delicious. Tastes fresh, mm. vibrant. The red onion I'm tasting right away. <clears throat> and the olive. You getting mm. that olive yet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a good mix, good blend. That was good. This is way better than Tago, for sure. Yeah. Guys, thank you for joining us tonight. We will continue to do videos here and there. The summer is getting very busy for all of us, but we'll do the best we can. Yeah. But hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Have and a we'll, good one. And we'll see you in the comments. Cheers. As Jeff would say, like, subscribe. <laughs> Tell your friends. <laughs>